What's up guys, it's San here, and in this video I'll talk a little bit about the ETH merge which is coming up towards the end of this year, early next year. Also a little bit about Bitcoin and what my thoughts are at the moment. And not only that, but I also want to talk a little bit about yield farming and how you can get involved with that as well. So you can also be very, very active in crypto during a bear market. So let's just jump straight in. First of all, the ETH merge. Now, there's been a lot of news talking about ETH for quite a while now, uh, and a lot of the moves to move towards the big ethereum merge from proof of work to proof of stake have been delayed over the last year or two if you have a look here at the last three months of eth though the price of eth has spiked quite high compared to where it sat uh, over the last three months as we can see at the lowest eth fell to around 900 us dollars and just as of recently it was sitting at around 2000 us dollars so even though we're kind of in a bear market at the moment ethereum completely took off for quite a while there and it doubled in price from its low within a three month period, even though we are in a bear market. Now, of course, if we go have a look at other coins like Bitcoin, for example, the top tier king god of cryptocurrencies, as you can see, Bitcoin fell all the way down to a low of about 18,500, I think it was at its lowest. And just as of recently, it hit about 24,000, 25,000 US dollars. So Bitcoin has also gone up, but no way has it gone up almost 2x like Ethereum has in the last three months. And there's a lot of anticipation with Ethereum and the merge, the merge or the move from proof of work to proof of stake. A lot of people are getting very, very excited about this. And therefore the buying pressure for Ethereum has really risen over the last couple of months as we move closer and closer to the merge date. But not only that, there's also people that are taking profits and of course selling their Ethereum to quickly make some money or pull out um, especially as the rest of the global economy is heading towards a bit of a recession in a bear market as well. Um, people are very, very fearful and running for the hills and looking for cash. So as you can see, like I said before, Ethereum went all the way up to about 2000 US dollars. Currently it's trading at 1600 US. So it's already dropped back um, about 20% there from its all time high over the last three months. So people are already taking profits. People are still fearful. We are moving closer and closer to the official merge state of Ethereum. A lot of people are getting very excited, but at the same time, people are also very, very fearful of the overall global markets. So that's pretty much just a short update about my opinion on both Bitcoin and ETH. Now, the cool thing with both of these tokens, I'm, I'm much more bullish on Bitcoin long term myself. and I know a lot of people won't agree with me on that. I'm not saying Ethereum um, doesn't have a bright future, but I'm just very, very confident with Bitcoin. Every 10 minutes, a new block is published. It's been like that ever since it started. Um, and whatever happens in the world, whatever happens in the crypto market, Bitcoin will always sit there just ticking over a new block of transactions coming out every 10 minutes. And it still just sits there as kind of like a perfect hard capped sound money, a digital money, digital gold in a way. It just sits there and does its own thing. And it continuously every 10 minutes or so releases a new block of transaction and the network just continues. Um, so over time, I'm really, really confident on Bitcoin. And even at the moment, I'm starting to dollar cost average back into Bitcoin and try raise my Satoshis or raise the amount of Bitcoin I have while we are at lower price points than we have been over the last two years. Now, I am still using Easy Crypto for all those people that live in New Zealand um, or even Australia too. There's Easy Crypto in Australia. I still use Easy Crypto for my buying um, and selling of crypto between New Zealand dollars and crypto world. Um, I do have a link down in the description where you can sign up for Easy Crypto and start using them. Uh, super, super easy. And when you do use my link, I do earn a small commission um, off the fees that Easy Crypto makes as well, just as the referral program works. Um, and I also actually do work for Easy Crypto, so I do need to disclose that. But regardless of me actually working there, I've just been using them as a customer and I found them to be the easiest and the best for the last three years. And I do use other companies like Binance and Crypto.com and KuCoin, but I use those for different reasons like trading. So quite often I'll buy my Bitcoin from Easy Crypto and if I want to trade it into something else, I'll send it off to Binance from Easy Crypto, do my trading, whatever. And if I ever need New Zealand dollars back in my bank account from Crypto World, I'll move it back through Easy Crypto to get to my bank account. So it's kind of like an on and off ramp for me into the crypto space. Now, I did also want to talk a little bit about yield farming. So yield farming has been something that's been huge over the last um, couple of years of crypto. As you might know, a lot of you guys would know PancakeSwap or Uniswap um, and quite a few other blockchains out there. So yield farming has been something that has kind of disappeared since we've had a bear market. Not disappeared, but the interest or a lot of the um, kind of activity 
on YouTube and, and people talking about yield farming has definitely died down. So if we ever go look at pancake swap, you can go to earn farms and you can still do yield farming. You could still earn pretty high APYs when it comes to crypto. But the only problem here is that the tokens that you are locking up are falling in price quite fast. Uh, for example, let's just say if you wanted to earn between um, or on the yield farm of cake and, and BUSD, you can earn up to 37% APY at the moment. Uh, but the cake token over time, it's very, very inflationary and it has been dropping in value very, very fast over the last year or so. Um, so that's why yield farming has really died off. Now, as of recent, I have started diving into the Proton ecosystem. Now, the Proton ecosystem, sorry, I will put a link down in the comments. I've got a full channel with all the tutorials on how to use this ecosystem from setting up a wallet, from staking, from swapping, from yield farming, from using their lending and borrowing DeFi service as well. So on Proton Swap, which is a um, kind of like a DeFi swap where you can swap between tokens on the Proton blockchain, they also have yield farming. And it's not just any random projects that are coming in, it's projects that have been vetted and approved to be on Proton Swap by the team that developed the Proton blockchain. And as you can see, recently they've added a few new yield farms for their Metal token, which is a new blockchain and token that's in the works. Currently you can earn over 500% APR on the Metal and Bitcoin yield farm and over 1,800% APR on the Metal Ethereum uh, yield farm. Now this one here was only just released today. So as more and more people start to deposit liquidity or crypto or funds, into this yield farm, that APR will diminish as it's evenly spread out depending on how much crypto you have in there. So right now it's got $100,000 worth of crypto locked up um, and the people that have got that locked up dispersed among them, they're earning 1,720% APR a year in metal token. Now, like I said, it's more and more people join or more and more people add liquidity to here, this reward rate, re reward rate sorry, will decrease and diminish per person. So these yield farms are really, really active. Um, and like I said before, even with pancake swap, these were huge over the last two years, but they've died off because the tokens you are locking up do fall in value quite fast. Same thing here, the metal token, it is actually a hard capped token. I think the supply was about 666 million tokens. Um, so over time, as more and more tokens are dispersed out into the circulation or the ecosystem through yield farms, the value of the token will decrease as well. In a way, this is just a way for the team behind the metal token to release some of the supply into the circulation of the ecosystem. So basically, um, either when you create a token, you can either do a few different things. You can either sell it, so you can privately sell it or do a public ICO, initial coin offering. And that's when people can actually buy tokens for a cheap price before they uh, are published or released down to the network. Um, or, you can do something like a yield farm where people can lock up, uh, for example, you can lock up both Ethereum and Metal. So you buy Metal off the open market and then you lock it up and you get rewarded in newly minted Metal tokens, which is this here. That's another way to get a new token out into the supply or the people or the community, for example. Um, or lastly, you can also do an airdrop, which some projects do basically where you just drop um, tokens to every single wallet that have either completed a task or um, or on some kind of certain list. And that's exactly what Uniswap did a couple of years ago. Uniswap is probably the biggest um, DEX exchange and what Ethereum it is. And in 2020, Uniswap decided to drop 400 Uni tokens to every single person or wallet address that had interacted with their website. So if you had used Uniswap to trade tokens before the Uniswap token was a thing, uh, they would have airdropped you 400 Uniswap tokens. And the reason that they can see that is it's all public on the blockchain, all the transactions. So they've got just a list of wallets um, that have used their service or their smart contracts. So back in 2020, around this time here, uh, you know, everyone got airdropped about 400 Uniswap tokens that were worth over 1,200 US dollars, which is about 1,800 New Zealand dollars. So really, really cool. And those 400 Uniswap tokens at the peak, um, would have been worth about 16, 17,000 US, which is about $23,000 here. So airdrops are really, really cool. Yield farms are really, really cool. There are risks involved with this. So I'd highly recommend you go and learn how yield farms work. I do actually have a video tutorial on my Proton channel where I teach people about the Proton ecosystem. I will link that down as well in the comments. So go have a look if you would like to learn. 
how to make or earn over 1700% APY and yield farming. Like I said, lots of risks. This is not financial advice. This is simply just education about how crypto works and how these different types of token minting and circulation um, can occur. So apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, a lot of big news coming up. The Ethereum merge seems to be on the horizon and people are getting very, very excited. Um, the market is quite volatile at the moment. Bitcoin is just doing its own thing, ticking away as it always has. Nothing too exciting going on there, but you know it's doing the job that it was made to do. Um, and the rest of the market, I haven't really dived into too much. I'm kind of keeping my portfolio pretty small and straight at the moment and just diving into a few activities like yield farming on Proton. So apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I am planning to do about two to three videos a week here on out. And if you would like to make some suggestions for videos, please do down in the comments, whether it's tutorials, explainers, a bit of crypto history, talking about my own experience with different things, whatever it could be, please leave some video suggestions down below. I do have some ideas in my head, but at the end of the day, I'm really just guessing what people want to watch. Um, rather than the people actually telling me what they want to learn or watch. So I would love your suggestions. So thanks for watching guys. My name is San and I'll see you in my next video.